Semuanya. The population of Mumbai is forecast to reach 33 million in the next few years. And no one can say if such a high concentration, with such a high level of poverty, is biologically and ecologically sustainable. I've decided to visit, photograph and film the 40 most highly populated cities in the world to try to answer a question. Why do the men and women of the third millennium continue to leave their villages to throng to places that are sometimes so polluted and dangerous as to be barely compatible with life? What promise do the great cities hold that they constantly attract new converts? It's a question I also address to myself. After years of studying the indigenous peoples of the primary forest of Palawan, here I am catapulted into the immense concrete jungle that is covering the planet at a rate never before seen in the history of our species. One of the projects that Alfred Hitchcock never managed to complete was 24 hours in the life of a city. I can see the whole picture from beginning to end, Hitchcock said in an interview with Francois Truffaut. It starts out at daybreak, then the early stirrings of life in the city. You could look at everything, film everything and show all of that. I arrived in Mumbai at night. The spectris that welcomed me to the financial capital of the Indian subcontinent, a luminous white funeral procession along the dark bypass and the dark piles of sleeping bodies heaped along the road, vanish with the light of the sun, driven away by the cacophony of car horns. I remember the words with which the great Mexican writer Octavio Paz, who was ambassador to India, recalled his arrival in Mumbai, then called Bombay. Horror, stupor, astonishment, joy, enthusiasm, nausea, inescapable attraction. The excess of reality had become unreality, but that unreality had turned suddenly into a balcony from which I peered into... Into what? Into that which is beyond and still has no name. Despite the fact that its population has multiplied many times over, and it is now filled with towers over 50 years later, Mumbai continues to seem like some kind of balcony from which I peered into that which still has no name. I doubt I...